the eggs frying, toast. Good morning, guys. I woke up, and guess what? All the hair on Gatsby's head is already changing color. Gatsby, you're changing color, you're evolving. Oh, you're awake. Hey, Gats. Hey, G. Hi. Did you have a good nap? I just got off my business call. And the carpet's all nice and clean. Woo. His body looks like a fox or something. Come on, Gatsby. That's to put the vacuum back. So, one awesome thing about living in the Bay Area is that we have something called Google Shopping Express. Woo! Pretty much, they will deliver stuff to your house on the same day. So you order things online, for example, stuff from Target or Whole Foods or Costco, and they will deliver it on the same day. So, like if you're a college student who can't drive, or if you can't get out of the house, or if you don't want to go through rush hour traffic, or if you just are lazy, they actually give you six months for free where they'll just deliver anything that you order from any of those places and you get a $10 credit. I'm not getting paid by Google, by the way, but I just thought it's really cool that I would try it out. My friends are actually on the Google Shopping Express team working for Google. And so I thought that was a really cool thing. I ordered more potty pads for this guy. Just got my Google Shopping Express in. <laughs> Check it out. So basically, oh, look at this puppy. So I got some more potty pads. These are so cheap compared to buying it from the store. And they usually wrap everything in this nice packager here. Google Shopping Express. Okay, right here. Contains one less errand to run and they package it all nicely. That's not for you, the stuff over here is for me. I got some apple chips, my favorite. And I got oatmeal, yes. And they give you a $10 credit now. So it used to be like $20 that they would give you for free. They give you a $10 credit now because apparently someone was cheating the system. Love this stuff. Genki had it at his place and I was like, I just kept eating it. Oh my god, it's so good. I can eat this all day long. This guy's such a great companion here. Hey guys, guess what? I'm headed off to the gym and you know who I'm taking with me? Matt, do you remember him? He was in the first Disneyland vlogs and we would hang out, play tennis and stuff like that. He's at school, that's why I haven't seen him too much. But he contacted me, he was like, I wanna work out with you, I wanna get some tips. So I thought that I would show him my regime. So we're gonna do a little quick workout at Gold's Gym today. Look, look, look who hey, it is, I'm it's back. Matt. Whoa, we're gonna go to while. Gold's and we're gonna work out. I guess I'm gonna show him my routine. We're yes. gonna do, just show him what I usually do, which is like more of the major muscle group kind of stuff. And then we'll work from there. Nice. So, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm I gave him my supplements and everything. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> We just got done with our workout. What'd you think? This pretty is a good one. Was... We'll see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we tried to hit everything as usual. Yeah. So. I got a good workout in. I got a good pump. So yes, that's good. Sorry, I, we didn't film too much because my my phone was uh, like out of memory. I'm sad. Working out too much. <laughs> so I gave Matt some of my uh, post workout stuff. Cell mass. So yeah, we'll see. He, he won't be sore tomorrow. Let's we'll hope see. not. <laughs> we'll see. I just got back from the gym and I took a shower. One thing I haven't done for a while. <gasps> Protein shake dance. Woo! <laughs> I think everything got stirred up enough. Anyway, so I thought that I would go over my supplements again just for the you new viewers because I gave it to Matt to try taking too. Assault, this is my pre-workout over here. It doesn't have any caffeine, so it's awesome. It's a pre-workout that you can take. Next, after workout, post-workout, I use cell mass. It helps with um, recovery. You won't be like Wolverine. You won't be tired ever again. You'll like totally regenerate. Next, Cytogainer. I use our weight gainer protein, 54 grams, 560 calories. Basically, you need a lot of calories in order to gain weight and um, build your muscles, which is what Matt was trying to do too. So if you're like us, then you gotta get a weight gainer protein shake. Important thing to do, especially if you're already working out, which is what he really was doing, as I was saying, it's probably your diet that um, is causing you not to be able to um, put on so much mass. Important thing for your diet is carbs. Carbs are very important mashed potatoes. Cytogainer has a lot of carbs in it too. So that's very important. Protein and carbs, basically. Those are the things that you need to gain weight. And that's what he even says on here. Look, protein, carbs, a lot of hard work. I'm gonna enjoy my protein shake now. What is that? Hey, dude, can you breathe? Can you breathe? You just have the hiccups? You seem like you're okay, you just have like weird hiccups. Thank you. You calm down? Puppy hiccups? Check out all the toys that he brought out. <laughs> I didn't bring any of these toys out, I leave them in the kitchen, he just brings them out to play with. There he is. I have a baby in my belly. 10 pound baby! Mmm. I'm gonna cook some ramen here. You want some? Napa cabbage, baby? Here you go. What a healthy dog. Mmm, delicious. I bought a giant, giant pork belly here. I'm just gonna cut it up and then freeze the rest of it. Okay, I got the pork belly all sliced up, finished the noodles and Napa cabbage, got the water boiling, and I get the bowl out. Sun noodle ramen comes with soy sauce too. It's gonna taste awesome. I'm so ready for it, I'm so hungry. I bought some of this dehydrated seaweed kind of thing that you put inside, should make it taste better. And voila, look at that. Oh, some ramen pork belly. I put an egg inside and I got some Napa cabbage and I stuck all the dehydrated stuff inside the soup so you can't really see it, but awesome. Finally, time for me to eat my dinner. I'm gonna watch a Netflix movie. This time it's Philomena. It was nominated for this year's Academy Awards, starring Judi Dench. It was also nominated. It's supposed to be really good and very happy. Anyway, I'll see you guys afterwards. Said that I give my quick review on the movie. I definitely recommend seeing it. It is about um, an old lady who had a baby but had to give it up due because the nuns made her and she's trying to find her son that she had. I don't want to give too much more away than that. It is a true story and it was a very interesting story to watch. Uh, Judy Dench was very good. She was nominated for Best Actress for this role and I was kind of like, really? Judy Dench plays the same character in almost everything. But I did feel that her performance was incredible in this. I liked it. But I did not think that it was actually worthy of being nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. My final review for Philomena out of four stars would be three stars. Let me know if you saw it, what you thought about it. I'm going to do a water change really fast. It's super late at night, but whatever. The aquarium seems to be doing still really well. I'm just doing my bi-monthly water change. So. Check it out. So the first thing I do is turn off the pumps. Got my tube here, gonna siphon the water out. 
There it goes. No! Oh, it's working. Haha, oh, I got it. Siphon in the water into the bucket there. And there we go. That's about right. What are you up to? Okay, here it goes. Awesome. Okay, we got it all set up. Now I just gotta check all the levels. Here's my test kit here. It's pretty much just like science in high school. You have to use the indicator to check everything out here. I'm gonna check magnesium first. And then I just follow this kit here. It tells you what to do. So for magnesium, two milliliters, you drop one drop of A five times, wait 15 seconds per drop. Then you add the indicator for C and keep doing it until it changes colors. What I do is I stick, I stick the indicator in until it changes colors. The pH is actually pretty good, I think. Okay, there we go. It changed. Then we look at this and see how much, it says something like 4.4. .4. Sorry, the camera can't focus on it. 4.4, .4. then what we do is we look at this, 9.0 which is probably my, the lowest amount that I, you'd want the alkalinity to be. So I gotta dose some more of that. And that's how it works. So I do that with all the other ones now. Alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. So I just did the test. Nothing was like terribly off. Magnesium was actually pretty good, which is kind of weird because the bryopsis is kind of coming back. I actually ordered Kent's Tech M, which helps to get rid of bryopsis. So hopefully that'll be coming in a few days. This guy is hanging out with me. I'm doing all this. What's up, dude? That's the aquarium update. The number of Gatsby's toys that he's getting, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. And of course, Gatsby's favorite thing that he gets, his favorite treat, an ice cube, the cheapest thing in the world. I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's been a long day. <sighs> Good night. Gatsby, come, sit. Good dog. Hey, Gatsby, stay. Good dog. Here you go. Stay. 